Thank you for the Batman. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Wow. I I mean this this movie. This this movie right here. What's going on? Chaz here with a new review for you. I got to see The Batman super duper early. And uh, man, I am really, I'm really still stuck in the moments of this movie. Like, you know, usually, you know, you go see one of these DC movies, you can go, oh yeah, this, this part sucked. They could have did this better. They could have did this better. This character sucked. No. No. With this movie here. The Batman story was amazing. Characters, all the characters. I'm talking about the sub characters to the 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 B characters to the to the the um to the main actors to the co-stars to every even people in the background were amazing. Matt Reeves knows how to direct a movie obviously but man did, did i really thought you know oh this is gonna be the batman like how does this guy robert pattinson from freaking uh twilight become batman let me tell you you get matt reeves you get put the movie in his hands robert pattinson's hands and he's like i can make anything out of this what would you like i would like platinum please and he goes here's platinum and here's gold and here's every type of thing you need in your whole life water the guy makes he made water into wine this his performance as batman was phenomenal he is batman 90 percent of the time in this movie we get bruce wayne when we need him to be there and important moments it is not overdone bruce wayne is a great character to his amazing character as well. When he's on screen as Bruce Wayne, it's amazing. When he's on screen as Batman, it's amazing. When he's trying to play both of them at the same time, amazing. No matter what situation he was put in in this movie, or what was um, what what was needed of him at that time, he killed it. Selena Kyle, uh, Len uh, Zoe Kravitz was amazing as Catwoman. You know, you you jump right in with her, and you feel her pain at any time when she's emotional. You feel her stress. You feel um, every emotion she displays. Because people can say, "Oh, she has a dead face," right? She's kind of, you know, all the time. No, this girl knows how to act, man. And let me tell you, you can feel the weight and stress of of her character through her movements and acted out you know the way she acts out because it's what's crazy the way she plays catwoman in this movie it's like she's always chill but when she pops off she pops off man when she's after something she wants she gets it and it it, it was great commissioner gordon holy shit that act like if they did a commissioner gordon movie with him uh gary o um i would I would legit go watch that movie. I mean, we're getting the series uh, with um, uh, Gotham Detectives and stuff and on HBO Max, and I can't wait to see that. Um, killed it, right? Colin Farrell as freaking the Penguin. There was people in my theater I was sitting next to um, that didn't know that was Colin Farrell. When I said, they were like, what? Even people behind me like, what? Like, it was, yeah, that's Colin Farrell, bro. That is Colin Farrell playing the penguin and he killed it take it easy take it easy As she, he was just he would never thought who he was if if, if I, nobody told you you would just think he was just a good actor uh, an amazing actor a new actor you never seen before no it was colin farrell in prosthetics and prosthetics um and uh special effects and all this stuff and he just looks phenomenal and he kills as the penguin um uh falcone the guy from uh the 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 adam sandler movies killed it as falcone in there that was great um a lot of this movie the riddler oh the kid that played the riddler the riddler steals this movie he was 
crazy. You felt scared of him. Like, you got nervous. This was, you know, this movie made you feel a lot of emotions. And every time he was on screen made you feel that fear, man. Like, this guy is a psycho freaking path. And the mystery in here, the riddles, you, I'm, I'm telling you, you're never going to get it. Unless somebody tells you, you'll never get what's actually happening. And the, the trailers don't give away nothing. And with that, it it is, it is the best Batman movie. Yes, I said it. It is the best Batman movie because of the, the the detective work, the mystery, the action, the storytelling. Everything just hits, man, perfectly. And it's like they didn't cut nothing out of this movie. You can tell the movie was just flowing, man, like how it's supposed to. They let Matt Reeves do his thing, and it turned out so well, man. And this movie, legit 10 out of 10, guys. I give this a super A plus every high ranking. Um, it, it it is a great Batman movie. It is better than Dark Knight. It is my number one movie now as for Batman. It is Batman, the Batman, the Dark Knight, and Batman one with uh, Michael Keaton. Those are my top three right now. All right, guys. You know, the movie was great. Uh, it was a phenomenal movie. Matt Reeves did a great job. Go see it. Go support. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.